Hey YouTube, Navy98. Got another car mod for you here today. Uh, I recently bought a 2021 Ram 1500. Uh, and you would think in this day and age that all cars would come standard with wireless Apple CarPlay, uh, but they don't. Um, it seems like manufacturers that offer the wireless CarPlay are few and far between. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and look at the different options out there for adding wireless CarPlay to your vehicle. Um, I searched a bunch of forums, looked at some reviews online, and I found a product uh, that I've been using for the last few weeks. Uh, before I did this video, I wanted to make sure that it was um, working well and didn't have any issues with it. And here's what I found. Uh, it's a wireless dongle that fits into your USB 2.0 connection on your vehicle. This is called a CarLink kit, and the model number is CPC200-U2W+. I'll go ahead and put a link to this in the description below uh, if you want to take a look at it. I think they're about $115 on Amazon right now. But essentially, you plug this into your uh, system if your car does support uh, CarPlay. And it's a way of adding the wireless CarPlay to your vehicle. Um, like I said, this is a, a Ram 1500 that I'm putting this on. But according to Amazon and, and their website, they offer this for various manufacturers. So if you're looking for something like this for your vehicle, um, highly recommend it. Once I got it all set up, I haven't had any issues with it. The only issues I've noticed are a tiny bit of lag from when you actually push a button on your iPhone or your car steering wheel. It's a very, it's noticeable, but not enough to be annoying. It's not an immediate response like you would with the wired CarPlay, but again, not a huge issue. Uh, so that's really it. Uh, other than that, it's been seamless. You hop in the car, uh, takes it a couple seconds to connect and, and you're good to go. Um, so I'll show you how this all works uh, and, and install it. Uh, I've got a different phone that I'll just show you how it works on. Uh, you just plug this into your uh, USB 2.0 port on your vehicle um, and I'll show you how it works. All right, so you wanna make sure you have your Bluetooth enabled on your phone like I do. And you see here at the bottom, I have this Uconnect 7F89 pop-up. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And the first time you set this up, it does take a little bit to get this thing connected to your CarPlay. And then this pops up, you wanna hit use CarPlay. And now it's all synced up. So I do have CarPlay enabled. Again, uh, this is the podcast I have playing from my phone right now. Um, go to the home screen and you can see that uh, your apps are out here. But for example, if I want to use Overcast, again, this is just wireless, wirelessly connected to my phone. Um, it all works fine. What you're about to hear is part five. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, uh, once you get it all set up the first time, it does take a little bit to get it connected. Uh, every time you get in from that point on, it, it'll automatically connect to your phone. So just to show you that real quick, I'll go ahead and uh, stop the vehicle and then start it back up. All right, so I turned off the vehicle. Um, on the RAM here, there's this nice little compartment that I just shoved the dongle into so it stays out of the way. Um, and now I can just pop my phone here into the wireless charging position uh, on the RAM. So go ahead and start the vehicle back up and I'll show you what it looks like when it connects. So the screen always pops up uh, when you first turn it on, it's looking for your phone, uh, connects to your phone. The manufacturer advertises it takes less than 30 seconds, and that's true. So as you see, uh, you know, I don't know how, how long that was, five, 10 seconds um, connected to the iPhone and you have CarPlay now. So it's as simple as that. I do recommend this device. Like I said, I've been driving around for a few weeks now, have had no issues with it on this 2021 Ram 1500. Um, 
I think on Amazon right now with the coupon that they're advertising, it's $115. To me, it's well worth it. Uh, I bought this with my own money. I didn't get any discounts or get this product for free um, and I'm not getting paid for this review. Just thought I'd put it out there in case you guys are looking for this sort of thing. So hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this is Navy98 saying go Navy.